Hey guys, John here, and welcome to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Now, I know what I said. I probably wasn't going to dive into this because I didn't think I had time, but crunching the numbers and seeing how quickly I got through the first Uncharted, I decided to give it a try, so hopefully I can complete it before my PS Now membership runs out. And yeah, I'm just kind of wanting to jump right in and see what's going on, so... Let's do this. Definitely gonna go with easy because that was really hard last time. Very easy. Aim assist and extra health. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I don't even know, like, how do people do these? I have no idea, but we're going easy because I'm a wimp. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, huh? This one's ominous. What's going on? Oh. Yeah, that's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Oh crap. This is a great place to start. Uh, okay. I'm gonna climb around the side, I guess. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> maybe this side? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we're gonna be climbing up, I guess. Yeah. Um. Over here, maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> what an insane situation to find yourself in. Plus, he's losing blood, so it's like, what are the. What are the chances he would even have the strength to be able to climb? Um, over. Okay. Ah, uh, duh. Gosh. Seriously, Drake, you have got to stop getting yourself in this, in this kind of situation. <laughs> Freaking crap, dude. Okay. Oh, this is really gonna get us somewhere, I assume. This music sounds like Batman Arkham style music. Don't it's obviously not the same people, but made it but it sounds like it musically anyway um come on whoa no 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 drake um <laughs> this is insane it's absolutely freaking insane No way. Oh no. 
Oh boy. Up you go. Okay. Come on. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Up you go. Oh my gosh. No, dude, no. Oh my gosh. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, a Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> That's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers so so somewhere out there there are 13 ships loaded with the emperor's treasure waiting to be found yeah and that is what your client is after hey, look at this lamp it's covered in mongolian script it must have been a gift from kublai khan the light of the great khan shelters, shelters the, fate the fate of, of the, the 13. 13. marco polo hid something inside this lamp something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything, I assume. 
given, you know, the train incident and this situation. <laughs> So what I'm wondering is, oh, I already see the first shiny over there, huh, by that tree. Um, what I'm wondering is, are we going to see Sully? Are we going to see Elena? Probably not Elena, right? I have a feeling that each game there's going to be a different lady friend. Whoa, $10,000? Are you serious? Dude, sweet. Hey, more trophies to annoy Taco with. Great. But, um, but yeah, I, we probably won't see Elena again, but hopefully Sully's around. I'm feeling we're going to need his help. Oh, no. Really don't want to walk under this. Jeez. Just keep going, dude. I wonder if our friends were on this train, too. Or maybe they double-crossed us, and that's how we ended up in this position. I don't know. Come on. God. Get yourself killed so hard. Oh. Hey. Okay. Interesting. Um... Oh wait, more treasure. Okay, that one didn't have a prize. Interesting. I wonder why. That one told me how much it was worth. Hmm. Okay. We're ready for action and whoops, I see something down there. No. No, we got to shoot it. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Mm-hmm. Okay, that music's worrying. Oh god. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> wow. Think fast there. So yeah, we apparently ticked off the wrong people. Double crossing our employer, I suppose. Well, not really our employer, but our new friend's employer, which probably what got us in this situation. Whoop. I'm thinking we're going to get jumped here, but you never know. Can you, um,. Oh, they we're climbing up. Let's try to open the door, but apparently not. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Could we have any worse luck? Uh, Drake? Flashback. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find talk about making yourself easy oh you're not jealous 
Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Could just tell she was gonna be trouble. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the train wreck. Uh, Drake? I don't know how you're still alive at this point, but... <laughs> I often wondered that in the first game, too, so, you know. I guess, guess it's kind of par for the course. Really? More death-defying jumps. Huh? Oh my god. Um, okay. So we gotta go this way. No, we gotta go down. Really? Because this is totally safe. Come on. Oh. I mean, keep wondering if we're gonna get jumped, but I'm not sure anybody could have cut through that tumble I just took in one piece and still be ready to fight. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe the ice will cauterize your wounds, huh? <laughs> oh man. Sure, you're up for this. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. 
but we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it.